What is up guys? It is a hockey guys game day today and me and Yelly are going to be taking you from house to house all day long and we're going to be following the guys through this full game day. Getting breakfast all the way to actually eating their post game meal after the game. We're going to actually take you through everything and I got my uh, my wingman for the day. Yeah guys, so I'm not playing tonight so I'm going to be tagging along with Lawson and helping out uh, showing the guys game day routines. Game day baby. Let's go. What's up everyone? It is 7.30 and it's Friday. Uh, I'm going to get the pot of coffee brewing and also I have to go move my car because Taver needs to go to school here. It's going to be a good day. What do you got going on this morning? Oh man, just a uh, senior capstone presentation at 8 a.m. on a Friday on foot bacteria in hockey players. Fun fact, Austin Friesen has the most bacteria in bottom of his feet. I can't confirm that, but who knows. So a lot of the other guys like to sleep in, especially on game days. And it's 8.03 right now, so I'm just going to kick back and watch a little TV, drink some coffee, and wait for everyone to get up. Hey. Good morning, David. Hey, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Not too bad. Happy game day. Looks like you got a bunch of cats pulling you. Yeah, I got my morning squad. That's a proud cat dad if I've ever seen one. Thanks, Dave. Get some coffees. Yes. All right, it's 9 a.m. Coffee's secured. Boom. Sounds like these guys are listening to music right now. Well, it's 9.30, we just rolled this shack and look what we found sitting down the recliner. A cup of joe and a bagel. The plan is we got a morning skate at around 10. It's like 9.30 right now, so we're gonna go over there, skate around for a bit, shoot some pucks. Nice. Hey, Willie, good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, how you doing? Great. Heading the morning skate, Gaga's on the radio. It's a great Friday. Good Friday for a W. Morning everybody, game day. Got a little morning skate in and start the day off right. Hopefully it's got one in it tonight. Got done with the morning skate. It is about 10:30 a.m. Hang out a little bit, maybe take a nap, have some food. Be back here at five o'clock for the seven o'clock start. We got Uncle Dave doing the one of many, very few things that he knows how to cook in here. Breakfast. Usually my omelets turn into scrambled eggs. Chopped up some salami. Salami. I'm gonna try and make an omelet. Or is it a prosciutto? Prosciutto from Nona's kitchen. Yes. Thank you so much <laughs> for telling us. Goodbye. I want my mullet gone. Back. I want it gone. <laughs> so you're going to top it off. Mullet's gone. I'm going downtown. <laughs> yep. We'll see you later. Make or break moment. Let's see what we got. Oh. <laughs> got the hash browns in the omelet. Nice. Good flip. We'll take Body it. Catcher. Slotted gang. So snatcher. All right. This is what I ended up with. Ice coffee, and if you don't eat your eggs with hot sauce, you're a psycho. Okay. I went ketchup. Psycho. I'll take it. Actually, the main thing that I like about game day is you get to eat large quantities of food because you have to gear up. So that's probably my favorite part. Mullet's gone. Whoa! The shortest thing's been in freaking three years, probably. Looks good, though. Thanks. <laughs> Chris spends more time on game day cooking than he actually does preparing for the game. Just killing time before Jordo and I go to the rink for a nice warm up and a stretch. This is why we do this. We gotta wake these babies up, so that's why we come here and ride the bike and stretch out. Probably 10, 15 minutes today. Good roll, good stretch. Maybe get the Theragun going. Canadian beaver socks. Been wearing them all day, so <laughs> let you know after the game if they're lucky or not. I feel like I'm in a spin class right now. <laughs> Almost at the top of the hill. Almost at the top. All right, we're going down. Who knew stretching was so hard? Yeah. Back in freshman year, we'd never do this, but now that we're seniors and 24 years old, we really have to take care of our bodies. 20-year-old Taver would wake up, sit on the couch till five, and then go to the rink. Almost 24-year-old Taver does seven workouts, then goes home, eats more, comes back, does another workout, and then plays the game. All right, that wraps up our stretch and warm up. 
Alright guys, see you in a bit. Alright. So Me and Trey got a heated uh NHL game going on right now. I'm gonna start doing it every game day. Get my mind right. <laughs> I like to get the puck deep in NHL, just like I do in a real game. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? I sealed it, sealed it. Yeah, I mean <laughs> it's gotta be a good sign right there. I might go to the rink right now. <laughs> It's hard to take a nap after that excitement, but... Knock knock, Batesy. Hello. I've just been resting. About to get up and get a nice coffee and go for a walk. Come home, eat, put the suit on, head to the rink. Here you go. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you're the best. So I came to the Marriott to check things out and Frizz is still in the kitchen. So on the Friday, I usually make double the amount of my pregame meals because we also have a game on Saturday, so I get to save time for tomorrow. Next, I'll go have a nap, and then we'll uh, see you in a few hours. Yeah, this is what we do. We sit here and watch a movie till about 2.30ish, start making pregame, eat around 3.30, shower, and then head to the rink around 4.30. Oh, I took a little snooze upstairs. I got class today at three so yeah, i know it's, it's tough but you're gonna go yeah i can't skip why because it's getting close to finals and oh i get nervous God. when i skip i'd be planting my butt right here if i were him would you go to class if you had class today i'd like to say no but i think my mom's gonna watch so absolutely i would go to class <laughs> so we're gonna pop in next door next door to the marriott where pacer lives and we're gonna see what he's up to on game day wake up around nine and uh, make breakfast so I get my oatmeal in me, have a mandatory cup of coffee, and then I bury a coconut water. Just before I go for my walk, before a game, I got my therapy gun here. At lunch around one o'clock, me and my other roommate DJ, we make pasta for ourselves. It's not known as, but uh, it'll, it'll do. And then uh, around three o'clock, I make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I eat that, and that's all I eat on a game day. I usually don't share my uh, pregame rituals, but uh, only for the YouTube content, I will. The cow went like, oh, and his hair oh, just stuck like this. How is it supposed to be? It's just jello there. All right, 2.30, right on cue. We're making pregame. We got some ground turkey, pasta sauce. Gonna boil some noodles next, and then put it all together. Feed the boys. So if you mess up the meal, everyone's mad. Then they suffer, because I'm gonna enjoy it every single time. <laughs> the pasta sauce is boiling over. It's uh, too hot, as Johnny's known, I would say. So it's 2.52 right now, and me and Yelly are off to the shack to see the pregame meals of all the guys. I'm guessing it's gonna be pretty similar for all the guys, but you never know. We just got up onto the back deck of the shack and I guess Levi forgot to put his pregame meal on the grill. It's still thawing out out here. All right, we have Will Blake here and it's about uh, 3.30. What do you got on the grill here? What's your pregame meal? Chicken, broccoli, got rice going inside, and a Caesar salad. No seasoning on game day though. No seasoning? No seasoning on game day. How about sauces? Uh, maybe a couple sauces, that's fine. Okay, yeah. Hey, well, Blake's pretty yeah. meal. Take notes. And I was like, Proper fuel. Fuck. Got some uh, chicken and uh, made some noodles with Cuddy and we go uh, some marinara and some Alfredo. And uh, does the trick. Cuddy plays bad tonight, I guess it's on me. It's gonna be a good day when you got the sauce right. You get the sauce right? You did pretty well on the sauce. I'll give him that. Mm. This is what happens, actually. Batesy makes food for everyone before every game. <laughs> And he usually he's the only one that eats it. <laughs> yeah, there's a billion noodles. Yeah, so this is what uh, guys that don't play eat, you know. It's Dunkaroos. Cheers. Without you, we wouldn't be uh, where we are today. Thank you, Dunkaroos. All right, four o'clock, time to make the coffee. I always pour my coffee and I don't drink until I get to the rink. And then I take my first couple sips there. And All then right. drink it during our pregame meeting. And that's the story. Finally made it home from school, eh? Yep, yep, had to finish class, now quick meal, get my suit on, head over to the rink. Matching watches Tabber got for me and him for a little pregame tradition that we've had since freshman year. Always driving together and walking into the rink. Don't really know why we do it, but do everything together pretty much. <laughs> no, I'm such a good friend. <laughs> do you have a toque or a comb or anything? You can do no, I just, use my, <laughs> I just used my pillow today. Coffee man's back there. Let's do this. Hi, I'm coffee man. I'm even opening the door for the coffee man so he doesn't spill. Thanks, Chauncey. Now, see, this is the problem with Jordan's car. It's too freaking low. Hit the, take the escalator down. <laughs> Time to turn it up here. Let's go!
That fired me right up. Got it done, it was gutty, two to one. All the goals in the third period, it's fun though. Good crowd, Yeah. The guys were fired up. Emotional, emotional win. Sitting on the phone in the nose. Right before the face off, it was like right after a penalty and everyone was like arguing over by the uh, ref circle and drop it like it's hot came on. And I was just sitting in the middle of the ice, just bobbing my head and bouncing my knees and singing the whole time. I was just like, oh, okay. This goes hard. It got me fired up. <laughs> Eating a little bit of pasta. And then I'm just gonna stuff my face with pizza, chips, and pop. <laughs> Cheers. We got the, the old classic pizzeria down here. We got the trifecta, a couple pepperonis, some sausages. This looks like a supreme. It's gonna be a good night. It's an Italian cold cut combo. <laughs> you know what? Italian nightclub from Jimmy John's got the pig out and some a couple homemade uh, cookies from mom. What are the cookies called? Pizzalas. Pizzalas. What's the plant you get at Christmas? A poinsettia? A poinsettia. Dude, last year I asked my mom, I'm like, Ma, are we getting any placentas for the house? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice and crispy. Hey, fun fact, I used to work at a pizza parlor for about two summers when I was in high school. So, you know, I, I know my way around a pizza. There's one thing my mama always told me. Vartan, women, they want a man that can cook a good pizza. And I stay true to that, mom. I love you. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> if you don't eat pizza with ranch, you're a psycho. Um, I'm a little bit scared because my dad usually holds me a little nicer, but he's okay right now. Well, everyone's back in their usual spots on the couch. And, it's a little uh, uh, end of the night cuddles just ended off. And uh, there's the hockey guys game day, and episode ten is officially in the books. Like, subscribe, and I love my dad. Bye. Bye. Peace. Bye. Goodbye. See you next week. It looks like he's almost doing it himself. Oh. <laughs> Big shout out to everyone who tunes into the games and also big shout out to everyone on campus that comes to our games because they bring a lot of energy. So uh, we love it. It helps a lot.